solve this equation cos 4x minus cos 6x is equal to uh, sine 6x between 0 to 180 degree. So I pasted these formulas. I want you to decide which formula would you use to solve the left hand side. If you look at the left hand side, the formula that uh, catches my attention is cos c minus cos d, which is minus 2 sine c plus d over 2 times sine c minus d over 2. So using that formula, I can say this is minus 2 sine c plus d, which is 10x divided by 2, which is 5x. And c sine c minus d, okay, so that is minus 2x uh, divided by 2 is minus x is equal to sine of x. Okay, is equal to sine of x. Okay, now sine of minus sine of minus x is minus sine x. Sine of a negative angle, so that means you're going clockwise. Sine of minus x is equal to minus sine of x. Okay, now, sine, I hope you understand, is corresponding to the y coordinate. Okay, uh, so yeah, what does this mean? This means if you take sine of minus 30, sine of minus 30 degree, which is going anticlockwise, that is same as minus sine of 30. Okay, this is what the formula means. So this means sine of 30 i hope you know is half okay so this is minus half and sine of minus 30 would also be minus half i've shown this in a unit circle diagram so this is a your yeah, unit circle of radius one so if you're going clockwise 30 degree and sine corresponds to your y coordinate okay so this point is the y coordinate is 0.5 so at 30 degree when the point has moved anti-clockwise 30 degree, the y coordinate is 0.5. And when it moves anti-clockwise, that is sine minus 30 is minus 0.5. Okay, I hopefully that is clear. So in place of sine minus x, I can use minus sine x, which will make this positive. So the next step I can write as sine 2 sine 5x times sine of x is equal to sine of x. Okay, is equal to sine of x. Now again, as I explained in my previous video, you should not cancel sine of x uh, because you can't, you can cancel if you can divide by anything which is not zero, but sine of x can be zero. So you should not be dividing both sides by zero because that's a very strong temptation that you have to cancel the sine x from both sides by dividing both sides by sine of x. So I'm going to take away sine, uh, sine x from both sides. So this is 2 sine 5x times sine of x minus sine of x is equal to 0. Okay, so now I can factor out the sine of x, zero sine, if you can factor out the sine of x, you have, in the next bracket, you have 2 sine 5x minus 1 is equal to 0. So I've got two equations now. So I can say this is sine of x is equal to 0, sine of x is equal to 0, or uh, sine of 5x is equal to half. So let us do this without the calculator and then uh, use the calculator to check our answer. So if you know the sine graph, sine of x becomes zero at, sine starts at zero. So without even drawing the graph, sine of, you can say this is zero degree and sine hits the maximum at 90, so it's 180 degree. These are the two solution at this situation. So here using uh, taking sine inverse of both sides, I can say 5x is equal to sine inverse of half. Okay, so let me sine inverse of half. 
sine sin inverse of half is 30 degrees so 5x is equal to 30 degrees so let me show this on the calculator so okay that's already what that was already there shift sign of 0 0.5 is half okay is 30 degree okay so, uh, uh, sine inverse of half is 30 degree so x is equal to 6 degrees now here let us draw the graph so here this has a period of how many degrees so this let me write it here phi tells me that this sine graph has uh, completes phi cycles within 360 degrees so one period would be 360 divided by 5, which is 720 divided by 10, which is 72 degrees. So this has a period of 72 degrees. So let me draw the graph. So let me draw only one period. So this is your y-axis, x-axis. This is your maximum and this is your minimum. Okay, so this is 1. This is negative 1, this is 0. So we've got a period of 72. So this is 72. Half of 72 is 36. And half of 36 is uh, 18. Okay, so and this is, okay. So let me draw the graph. So yeah, so this is sine 5x, sine of 5x. So this is maximum, baseline, minimum, baseline so a graph of sine 5x will look like this this is okay so we know your x is so this is your half this is your half and you get half at six degrees this is six degrees six degrees here so this is this is 36 this is 36 half oops, this is 36 this is 36 half of 72 is 36 and half of 36 is 18 okay so you got 6 from the uh, from 0 here so this is 6 degrees so if you go if you're using symmetry you have to go 6 to the left of 36 so the other value of x would be 30 degrees so within 0 to 72, you have two solutions between uh, that one is 6 and the other is 30 degree. I hope you can see this is 6 away from 0. So you have to go 6 away from 36, which is 30. So now you have to keep adding the solution. So x is, so let me write it here. So the other solutions will be if you keep adding 72 so this will be plus 72 which is 78 uh, if you add 72 here it will be 102 degrees and again if you add 78 so let me write it again it's all messy here so this is x is equal to you started at 60 then you got 30 degree then you have to keep adding 72 till you reach 180. So it is 78 degree, and this is 102 degrees. Then if you add 72, it is 150 degree. Am I right? 150 degree, yeah. And this is 174 degrees. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 seven eight solutions so all the solutions are zero x is equal to zero degree then you got six degrees then you got 30 degrees then 78 degrees 102 degrees 150 degrees and sorry 174 and 180 degrees so you got eight solutions so let us confirm this so let me bring let me scroll up so i'm going to write this if i want to type in in this equation i'm going to type in uh, this as making it a equation so this is cos 4x minus cos 6x minus sine of x 
is equal to zero. So I'm going to find the roots of the equation. So let me graph this. Uh, so menu graph. I'm going to type in uh, cos bracket 4x minus cos bracket 6x uh, minus sine of x, sine of x. And then see, let me look at this. I want a trig scale from 0 to 180. I think that will give me, that's what we want. Okay. So this is the graph. So we will, so let us scroll it up. So this is a beautiful shape of W. So you go G solve and then root. So first is 0. The next is 6, 30, 78, 102, 150, 174, and 180. 